Smash 4, I'm hella biased. You know what? I won't talk about Bracket. We're just going to get into the set. Yeah, why Why talk about what we well, didn't I, see when we get to see some amazing well, Smash Bros. Well, cool, there's some cool sets for Top 8 qualifiers. I agree, but we can get we can get to them after. That's true. Bracket will always be there, but the gameplay live is once in a lifetime. <sighs> that was really profound. That was like some Master Uguay type of stuff. Uh, you know what? I wish it was Master Ugwe, but the only master I know is Master Ubel, who sadly can't be here with us tonight. <sighs> we're so sad, but you know, we're keeping you company. And these are two House of 3000 players at the House of 3000 local. Being streamed by a House of 3000 streamer. Yeah! Shout Man, out. This is, this is like almost like 3000 houses. It's crazy. <laughs> if you think about it, it's more than 2900 houses. Yeah. And they all, and they almost are a tenth of the way there to 3,000 too. The, the Xeno That's 285. That's so true. That's so true. Live. So crazy stuff going on as both players just kind of have been scrapping back and forth here on small battlefield. This... I love that laser call out from Dildo, knowing that numbers under platform on the stage loves to short hop, threaten those soccer exactly. balls, threaten those mix ups, and just those high lasers are so good catch. for calling it out. But it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. No resources. And numbers. Numbers was expecting that Dill was gonna throw out a button and get hit there. Exactly. There, he, I believe he had a jump actually in that situation, but opted for the early up B just to give himself more flexibility. On it's the a cool idea, and the deep breathing boosted sun salutation will take the stock. There's a lot of like both volatility and also like both. These sets are always so kind of. They're always pretty scrappy between numbers and Dill just because of the playstyles where like. Normally, you'd kind of expect Rob plays his own in game, wait out, all that, use your superior buttons. But Dill is the type of player that likes to play a little slower, a little safer, hold shield more for the projectiles. And John is the type of guy where he knows when he needs to get in your face, and you're kind of seeing it here. Like, John is always in a position to push when ready. They, and also, both these players, too, very similar in that. Neither of them is really super technical. They don't do all the crazy tech their character has. They play very well. John started to. He started to, but he still doesn't really like. We've seen like just like we've seen Dill do a couple Z catches here and there, but we're not seeing double tosses come out yet, right? Yeah. Both these players will slow the pace of the game down when they need to, but are also not afraid to get in there and get their hands dirty. And, and both kind of tend to play the player more than the matchup, which is a huge reason for their consistent success. Exactly. But it also just means that. Well, we, when they play each other, you just see a lot of knowledge, a lot of ad pre-adaptation, and a lot of just scrapping because it's very hard to get a consistent advantage state for either of them. Yeah, beautiful Z catch and a great little drift mix up there from John. Still that living, back here was still crazy. living somehow. There is the down air. Lines it, it up. It's simple. That was called no deep breathing being to numbers benefit because deep breathing making you a little lighter no, I know. would have meant that. I've talked that we fit. Was I've, dead there, so. I've talked to him about this because oh, oh no, Dill just cleaning was, it up. That was great. Dill, Dill, Dill saw that last that, yeah. that 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 uh, last set uh, that numbers played and was like, hey, I like that. I'm gonna do that to you. How have you have you tasted your own medicine? Have you taken your meds today, numbers? Well, the thing is, yeah, it's oh wrong replays. But the thing is, like, uh, Rob is one of the characters that you can burn people's resources so mm -hmm. fast, like like. In the blink of an eye, your jump is gone, you've air dodged, and you're below Rob. And the and down air is just, it's so big, it's so active. And, and to the strength of Wii Fit, you have a lot of stall, yeah. but you have to go up. Yep, and the only way to really, like, everyone knows the resources you have and the resources you're going to burn is Wii Fit in disadvantage. The only way to mix them up is to mix up what order you use them in. You, and with how big Rob's down, like a lot of down airs, you can actually like drift and angle your up air to kind of get around and hit yeah. them in the side. But Rob's is so big, you can't do that against this character. And Dill has taken full advantage of that so far. It's just playing this matchup very cleanly, trying to take what I believe is still seated to be an upset over numbers here. Did John take his jacket off? Size. He did. Okay, he's winning. Back it up. Shout well, out he to hasn't John. rolled the sleeves up yet. Uh, shout out to John Numbers for winning Xeno. <laughs> He hasn't rolled his sleeves up yet. Yeah. But real talk, Dill's been doing pretty good today, despite coming off of, you know, such a long break. Numbers oh. here does not want to be outclassed. Nair one to up air. Both players just throwing things out back and forth. I love that attempt at a fair from Dill, right? Because if you get it, it either boxes them off stage or if you find the weak hit, it might it does confirm into that 
rotor arm as well. Numbers, though, doing that beautiful up air off ledge once again, trying to find a juggle, and that time just going to call Dude. out the double jump. He hasn't looked for just a raw double jump read. He's jumped aerial or jumped <laughs> fastball every single time, so Dill thought the double jump was safe, and that time he just committed. I think it's so funny we were on the same page. I was about to talk about how Numbers hasn't gone for much of like his tr like his uh, pat patented anti-air game against Rob, but Dill going out there getting the edge guard, and now it's an even game. And did you just see what Dill was trying to do there? Dill yes. was trying to find a Z-drop into a narrow, into another throw. Yep. So we're talking about how Dill, about how Numbers was starting to do some of the technical stuff. We just saw Dill attempt to do a little bit of the same. Again, neither of these players known for it, neither of them rely on it, but both definitely starting to look into how to get it done. No, exactly. Dill shield is low and decides to go off stage as a result of it. That downer would have taken the stock, the header, but no follow-up. Nair on shield, but nothing, and now Dill gets a reversal. All Dill there looking for that, expecting after the four that didn't, expecting the fifth one to trip, but because it's a percent chance, right, it's not, it doesn't stack, so not able to get that roll through, still gets put in disadvantage, and is forced to burn a lot of fuel here to come back to stage. Somehow finds a way down uncontested. Numbers is not willing to commit, Dill being very ambiguous with that drift, but still getting put on the other coast that we fit back air. They're very active, gonna call you out, and great parry from Numbers to not let too much pressure continue the advantage state and finally close that stock out. Yeah, and Numbers, just his resilience, his presence of mind, it's all showing here. Rob, so such a belligerent bully of a character. Oh, oh he just he, he, he saw red. Yeah, he he said you did it to me last oh, game. But I want it this time. Dill though finding the that quick rotor arm and just like that, JDC, this game's even. Yeah, exactly. And Dill punishing John for wanting to take his time in the corner. And now one more stock is all Dill needs. John with this combo, though, he doesn't want to be outdone. And great DI from Dill there, recognizing the different hitboxes of Weefit up tilt. And so DIing to get hit by that second lower hitbox that sends you at an angle, so John couldn't continue that combo. No, exactly. I mean, you can tell these players have played each other so much, right? Absolutely. But like, I think you will find very few players in the world better at the Wii Fit matchup than Dill, just because of how much he plays them. But I'd also say likewise for John. He made he literally made a YouTube video on how to play against Rob, which yeah. you should watch. It's really it's, good. It is literally, I think, the definitive guide on how to play against Rob. Yeah. Or if you listen to Zomba, you just pick literally any character and hold forward. Hey, man. I try. We were talking to Sal, trying to get him to come out today. Didn't happen. But... Oh my god, okay. The gyro interacting with the ball here and so much percent on both players now. John is the gyro, he throws it again. We're at these percents where we fit might start to get some kills in the corner here. Throws the ball, John decides to get, he fakes the deep breathing actually and the F tilt sends Dill back up. And that's a mix up that you still oh, don't see. the kick out of the shield. That was so Frame good. Frame it out of shield by the yeah. way. She needs it's it. so good. She needs it's it. It's so good. Well, she has no, it's her best out of shield option Besides in general. Grab. Yeah. Or, or up B. That's true. Up is frame four, but the hitboxes are up, weird. And she, has, she awkwardly has no good out of shield options in front of her. So because, yeah, her because, best yeah, is shield grab. Because is... shield grab, which not only is it bad, we've had the worst grab range in the game, both horizontally and vertically. Yeah. So that grab actually almost impossible to land unless you like, you know, roll boost cancel grab perfectly spaced. After like after you jab you you header cancel into jab into that confirms into grab yeah. like you, you really don't get a land grabs with that character so that being said it is always good to see a game three between these two because their sets are exactly. very unique very interesting and outside of New York City you don't really ever see this matchup that's true well you see it in Cali a little bit yeah but... you see like Varun and yeah or like sometimes there's like there's Wii fits around like oh. there's Noodle there's Manny there's Varun there's Xavier Red, Long, but Nick District and MDVA as well yeah certainly. but but um we'll see which house representative is going to move on to play the winner of the two waypoint representatives playing on the other side of winner semis here and it's really a battle of those Ludlow Street locals isn't That's it what I'm saying but can John just defend his seed as the Zeno? You mean as the Ludlow Street champion? He's Let's be honest here. He's Mr. Zeno. He's also Mr. Waypoint. And Mr. Brooklyn. And Mr. Help Mr. Everything. Here. Mr. Bombs. That's what I'm saying. Well, no, he doesn't. He doesn't really go to bombs. Okay, That's Dill. Dill's Miss Bombs. True. Or Helper. True. 
Either way, though, a lot of percent been packed, tacked on here. The start of each game has been pretty similar. Both players just tacking off percent and then looking for, you know, their killing blows, which is kind of where the tempo swings. It's just based on who gets the first read, right? Mm -hmm. Dealing with the dash attack here. Numbers gets deep breathing. And tries to catch the gyro, but no dice and what? the down air going to pick it up. And what's really interesting here is that most of their new these games have been consisted of neutral. Or, and it's just waiting for someone to either make a movement option and the other one to react and catch it, or they just they don't even have grounded movement. They're literally just standing still, charging projectiles at each other, and then one of them jumps in, and either they get their hit off that jump, or the other one calls them out for the jump. And that's been the entire neutral this whole yeah. set. Yeah. In this case, though, John picks up the landing with the dash attack, mm -hmm. and now two stocks apiece, but we have the deep breathing, we have the sun, dash attack in. And Dill in the corner gets a reversal, though. Yeah, managing to find that trip chance was huge for her there because she was able to find that whole extension, continuing to keep this one going. While she's dropped a couple of things, she still has that corner pressure going, has to reset to center, though, in order to get that gyro back online. And those zoning tools kind of being on cooldown for Rob, Rob forced her to give up a position that was otherwise huge for her. I agree. But Dill still has a big percent lead to show for her efforts, right? 70 is no small feat. That Arthur. being said, that slight drift in on that Nair meant that even though Top was covering her, it just wasn't safe. She was able to get shield grabbed for it. She not spacing it quite properly. And now you've got to get out of that numbers juggle situation you were talking about earlier. Yeah, so well, she's managed to get out, but numbers is he's just like belligerently chilling out around the around the burst range, right? Eight like he's work. not. He's not really prodding too hard, but he's also just being annoying, which is exactly what you really need to do against Rob. Punish them for the things they want to do. And Numbers has just made up this lead entirely, and now Deep Breathing's online. The Zombear, actually, if it was Zomba, it would have killed. My fault. Yeah, the, the Zombear, the El Diablo. <laughs> Call it whatever you want. Oh. Yeah, true. Shout out to PG <laughs> oh, Stats. Rest down, in peace. Throw. down You throw. can see John mashing with his arm wow. there in the player cam. And and Dill looking just for that raw up, up air, right? Not trying to find down... Down throw up smash, not trying to find the up tilt on the fast match, and trying to claw that medium speed just meant that John got away from her oh for God. free. Now with the salute the sun, opening this second stock up and cutting Mike is honestly gonna be huge just with how close these two are playing, getting even a slight lead. It, I do think it's bigger for or Dill or for numbers to get than Dill, because I think I if, if if numbers gets it, he can just get deep breathing and come off anyways exactly. and clean it right back up. 180 but. though. I mean, it's so easy for both players to just die to anything here. A throw from Rob, any stray hit from Weefit, the salute, the sun, and now John has taken the lead from what looked and, like such a dominant position from Dill. And has the gyro to boot, getting to start oh. a combo with it, unfortunately missing that second hit, so we didn't quite get to see something as spicy as numbers he was intended. He did that! What beautiful but, DI! Um, he's playing so well today, even by his standards. Like, numbers has been playing immaculately. He goes for those spikes, but he doesn't normally hit quite as many. That being said, he has gotten called out jumping out of the corner against multiple people today quite a bit. <laughs> Dill being the one to capitalize on it most consistently, though, keeping it even and, and needing to find a way in. I love the that uh, oh, no. just mix-up, right? Not even opting to, sh to try and grab the shield and instead just applying that safe pressure with down tilt. Yeah, for sure. Numbers needs to get out of the corner here. The dash attack is going to do the trick. The nair to the up air true combo. The ball. He's cooking a forward air. The next hit with deep breathing might just be it. The forward air from Dilla. She's Absolutely. fighting I back. I loved that gyro charge. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. She held it a little too long, but I love <gasps> the idea of you're trying to catch at, at, at th that missed tech option afterward. The fact. Act, and I think Dill's defensive gyro uses an usage has been mostly really good. Watch that being said, she's always committing. Absolutely. Yeah, Watch you see the There it is. He loves to do this in the last mm -hmm. of situations. He keeps it just below full mm -hmm. so he can use it as a slingshot or a B reverse movement yep. option or and bounce. it's a kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wave bounce. He does it all. And then, and, and if you decide to charge it as well, it can also, right, it does also heal you a couple percent, which, while not notable in most matchups, uh, Sinji can tell you is very important sometimes. Yeah. There's if you didn't know, if you didn't know there's like multiple clips of Sinji versus Wii Fits going last hit it at time and it being like the Wii Fits ahead the Wii Fits ahead Sinji gets a hit and then runs away. No, and I, I, saw the, I yeah. saw that clip. Yeah, but there's like three of them. It no, happened like three separate times. It, it wasn't just in that set though. It happened so often. Okay, I just want to say. Yeah. Can we talk about how? Somehow, no matter what tournament you go to, this is always winner's finals or winner's semis or grand finals. 
Numbers VV? Yeah, Numbers VV. Yeah. Or Numbers Vaughn. Their head can't be.